We are all different. We have different hobbies, likes, dislikes, cultures, families, and religions. That's what makes this world so wonderful and interesting. We can't all do the same things and think the same way. That would be boring. To celebrate and embrace these differences, we need to be open-minded. But what does it mean to be open-minded? Being open-minded means you're opening your mind and you're willing to consider new ideas, perspectives or ways of doing things, even if they're different from your own. Like learning a new sport. Whoa, great goal. Or trying a new food that you don't really like the look of. Or by listening and not judging friends when they tell you about how they celebrate things differently in their household. So now you know what being open-minded is. Why do we even need to be open-minded? By being open-minded, we get to learn new things from others. Like learning how to make new and delicious food. Mm. Learning about music and dances from other cultures. Or learning about how others celebrate different traditions. Yeah, learning new things is awesome always fun. Being open-minded also helps improve our friendships and connection with others. When you listen to others, you also have the chance for them to feel heard and in return want to listen to you as well. When you are open-minded and listen to people, they trust you and feel safe around you without being scared of being judged, meaning that you can develop stronger friendships. Being open-minded also helps you solve problems. You start to think about how the other person may be feeling instead of just your own feelings, which can help you understand their perspective and work through the problem together. Can you think of a time when someone was open-minded with you? How did that make you feel? It feels good when people are interested in learning about you and what makes you unique. It's kind of like a superpower that you can also use to make people feel special. But being open-minded isn't always easy. And it's something that you need to practice to get better at, just like anything. So what are some ways that you can be more open-minded? By asking questions to find out more information, showing interest in other people's lives, always being kind, never judging something before you've learned more about it, And always think about how you would want people to treat you if you were sharing something about yourself. Let's play a game. We are going to listen to different conversations and you have to tell me if the people are being open-minded or closed-minded. If they are being open-minded, open your hands like this. If they are being closed-minded, Close your hands to show that they are not wanting to learn or grow. I've never done that before. I would love for you to teach me. Yup, very open-minded. You don't celebrate that? Everyone does. You're right, that's close-minded. We do not celebrate all the same things. 
You have two mums. That's really cool. Yep, that's open minded. We don't eat that at home, but I would love to try it. That's open minded. Ew, what's that smell? That food looks gross. That is being close minded and quite unkind. My family doesn't celebrate that. Can you tell me more about it? Asking questions is definitely open minded. You look really silly. Why are you wearing that? That is close minded. Remember, being open minded is a superpower that needs practice every day. How will you use your open minded superpower? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out the other videos on Buzz with B.